going on? Yeah, a lot of storms are going to be bubbling up here very shortly. In fact, they're already starting to form in Oklahoma, parts of Texas and Kansas. Very active weather this evening to our west. We are going to get leftovers here at home, and the bulk of these storms will probably sag southward closer to this warm front, but some of them will march eastbound. I think the stronger wind storms will march east and the stronger hail storms Will march south, but we could get some of these windstorms later tonight. We've got so a couple hailstorms forming right now with a lot of lightning near Fort Sill, south and west of OKC or near Lawton. But at this time, it's been a nice afternoon. It's been a warm afternoon. We have lots of 80s and 90s. We have the fuel, but the upper level wind pattern is better back off towards the west, so they're going to get the worst storms where it's not so great here at home. And so storms will weaken as they approach the state line and they'll start to get a little bit more scattered instead of having just one big old line marching on through. We do not have the highest storm threat this evening, but we do have a storm threat and those storm threats increase after sunset. Sunset's close to 830. I think the majority of the storms won't even get here until 9 or 10 o'clock this evening, and then they'll probably be here until about midnight or so. So we've got this short window at the very end of the day and into the overnight hours where we've got to watch out for some of these storms. But for a while, the next few hours at least, we'll be in the 80s and 90s. We could use some rain to try to cool us off, but we're not going to get some until after the sun has already set. Here's a wider view of those storm risks. In fact, we have a level four out of five for parts of central and western Oklahoma. But as these storms press east to into a less favorable environment, they'll, they'll start to fall apart a little bit. But it's kind of like trying to stop a train. You turn on the brakes and eventually it does slow down, but it takes a while. These things aren't just going to completely collapse before they get to Arkansas, but they will be weakening over time. And I think in northwest Arkansas, we're right on the edge. The more north you go, the storm threats are even lower because a lot of the storms should be breaking up over time. But if you live in Fort Smith, Van Buren, and south into Poto, Greenwood, Waldron, Tallahena, Big Cedar, we could be watching the leftover thunderstorms just being a little bit stronger for us. The farther south you go, the better chance of severe weather you have. Our main threats will be wind and hail overnight tonight. Here's another way to look look at rain chances overall. We're going to be a lot more spotty. In fact, there's going to be some people in Benton County, Washington County, Carroll, Madison counties where we don't get rain. It's going to be a lot more scattered as these storms come into uh, the east. But from the west to the south and east, we're going to be watching heavier rain move in. Eventually it does break up, but I still think it's going to probably hit us definitely in the floor in Sequoia counties and get a little bit more scattered the farther east you go throughout this evening. So here's a look at future cast overnight tonight. We'll be watching these complexes come in from the west. Still pretty strong, especially in the southern River Valley Poto. We're getting it at 10, 11 o'clock or so. But notice in northwest Arkansas, we're kind of on the edge. We've got storms coming at us, but they'll continue to collapse over time. So we'll watch for some scattered storms overnight tonight. There could even be more storm chances tomorrow. We don't have a very big organized setup tomorrow, just more scattered storms. But this evening, five country, nine o'clock to midnight. And then after midnight, I think the storms are pretty much out of here, headed towards Conway and Little Rock, at least what's left of them. Here's your seven day forecast. More storms tomorrow, just a 30% chance. And then another complex will hit us Saturday night and into Sunday morning. We'll watch for those showers after I think about noon on Father's Day on Sunday. We finally start to clear out and then we go into big summer mode. In fact, summer officially mm. starts. Wednesday. Is that oh, right? Wow. Yeah. That's you can see about that. temperatures are appropriate too. <laughs> it already feels like we're deep <laughs> in the summer. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. All right, Matt, thanks. Some of the very buildings that make New York City could be bringing the city down.